Recently, I attended an acting seminar which handled material from theater of the absurd, and it expanded my understanding of this unique genre, opening the door to utilizing powerful acting tools to train actors. In my previous studies, I learned a more objective academic overview of this style, understanding the historical relevance and basic characteristics of absurdist plays, which is essential. However, putting it into action and embodying the material offered a more in-depth and experiential approach to thoroughly understanding and practicing theater of the absurd. What are your initial thoughts and definition of the word absurd? Perhaps ridiculous, silly, or ludicrous? These are all accurate descriptions. For the sake of the theater of the absurd, let's lean into nonsensical and meaningless. Pretty depressing, right? However, let's explore the culture at the time. Put yourself in their shoes. Imagine you've just experienced the travesty, travesties of World War II, all the death and destruction. Nazis tortured innocent Jewish people and allies during the Holocaust. The U.S. annihilated Japanese civilians with the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Humankind dying in every corner of the world. Discussing politics, social issues, and cultural worldviews is imperative when tackling theater of the absurd plays and productions. At its foundation, the product is a powerful expression of artists' specific commentary on life, often revealing how nonsensical the world seems. One acting exercise when tackling absurdist theater that I found beneficial is a warm-up of walking and moving in different creative scenarios. More than a mere physical exercise to get the blood moving, energy increasing, preparing actors to improv a scene, I appreciate how it allows actors to free their minds from what should happen, and instead, it invites them to follow their impulse, even if it does not make sense. So let's try it. Walk around the room in a usual manner. Now imagine and physicalize your walking as if you were in water up to your chest. How does this affect your speed and movement? Now walk as if you are walking through mud and are late for work. The mud is slowing you down, but you must arrive on time. Now, try moving while stuck in a rock. You absolutely cannot move, but you're trying your hardest because you're incredibly late. Feel that tension in your body and overall experience. After a few minutes in different scenarios, you are ready to tackle an improv in an absurd manner. Something I still wonder about is how to instill a crucial value of theater of the absurd, which is being bold enough to take a chance at going against the norm. In essence, the idea is that even if actors feel like it looks weird, they may trust that this particular style empowers the expressive message of not only the production, but themselves. 